I What's the worst speech. thing your mother-in-law has said to you? Stupid. I'll go Stupid. first. The very last message that my mother-in-law sent me before I blocked her forever was asking me, are you sure you haven't had too much? You should call Luke at work and tell him it's just too soon. Me being stupid, I thought she was talking about alcohol, but I was like, that doesn't make any sense. So I sent it to other people to interpret all of her messages. Mind you, she called me the devil. She called me the ultimate sinner. She basically made it very clear that she didn't want us together. Everyone interpreted it as if she was asking me if I've had too much of the relationship yet. Should I call Luke at work and just tell him I'm not ready to be married? It's too soon? Mind you, we've been married for two years. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? My mother-in-law asked my husband right in front of me why he couldn't go find a black woman to marry so he can be with his own kind. Now, if that's not racist, I don't know what is. But the reason it made me laugh is because my mother-in-law is white. My husband is only half black. He's half white. So by her incredibly racist logic, shouldn't he find somebody that's half white and half black? Because that would be his own kind. She also told my daughters that they didn't need to be sad that my mom was dying because they always had her as a grandma. My four-year-old, who was two and a half at the time, literally cried for three hours because she didn't know grandma was dying yet. Fuck you, Sandy! What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? <sighs> I have been waiting for a stitch like this. Oh my god. Okay, so anybody that knows me in my real life knows that um, I married into a really fucked up family. Like, yeah. I'm not anymore. I'm divorced now. But holy fuck. My mother-in-law, I've got stories. Holy shit. But... <sighs> Is at her house one of the million times that I forgave her for the stories I got about her. I don't know, maybe I'll one day share some fucked up stories. But she looked at me and she said, You are lucky that incest is frowned upon. I was like, what? And at this time, I was like 18, 19. I'm like, no, I would have been 19. I was pregnant with our child. I was like, huh? She's like, yeah. Because if he, if he could sleep with me without being frowned upon, he wouldn't need you. <laughs> What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? So I thought my mother, or well, my soon-to-be mother-in-law liked me. But she keeps telling me no. And she won't let me do stuff. I keep asking like once a month for one thing. And she won't give it to me. I, I just don't understand. Maybe this is one of the text messages from her. Maybe y'all can understand this. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? That I can't give my husband back. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? So my mother-in-law didn't say this directly to me. She said it to my husband. But the day that we brought home Dawson from the hospital, we were calling her to invite her over. There had been some drama beforehand. But we were still going to call her and invite her to see her grandson. It was her first biological grandchild. And before we could call her, she blew up my husband's phone asking where we were because she was at the hospital uninvited. And when he called her back, she started arguing with him and ultimately told him that I should have died during my C-section. So yes, my mother-in-law told my husband she wished that I had died during my C-section. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? After I got married, my mother-in-law told me that she has a no return policy and that was really hard to take. I wasn't 
prepared for that kind of hate from family. What's the worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you? I got this one. We got on the conversation on where her kids came from, like who their dad was, a married man. She's very proud of that, whatever. She then proceeds to tell me that as a wife, I need to shut my mouth and accept the fact that her son will be having side chicks. As the side chick, she needs to learn her place. And I'm looking at her like, what are you talking about? So then she proceeds to tell me that his side chick was going there for holidays, going over to the mom's house just forever, bringing her kids over. It's like they're one big fucking happy family. Have I ever been fucking invited? No. Have I been over for holidays? No. <laughs> I then looked at her like, what happened to you? She then told me that this is the life. And that I basically just need to accept it. And be a lady and keep my mouth shut. Bitch, you got the wrong. Yeah, I know my destiny's in front of me. Growing up from a hundred seeds. I must survive, it's a human needs. To make it to the top, I must believe. Yeah, I'm growing like a flower. I meditate for hours. The rain is like my shower. I used to be that doubter. Used to be that coward. I used to be that tower. In terror, I'm crashing down and knowledge is the power. I'm a different person now. This is the world I found. My energy is certain sounds. And my gods have made my verses loud. So I'm speaking out and I'm preaching out. Positive vibes are all around. I'm manifesting till I find my crown. To the hate edge will never put me out. Stars come crashing. worst thing your mother-in-law has said to you now i really started to think our relationship was getting better too but the other day she looked at me and said i can't take him back you married him he's your problem now and i just would like to know where she got the audacity <laughs> what's the worst thing your mother-in-law has ever said to you Hi guys, so I've wanted to do this one for a while, but I've always been like, don't cause drama, where there is no drama, but considering everything that's happening, I would like to be a bit vocal because I just feel like, me and Dan are not married, but I still consider his mum my mother-in-law because me and Dan have a kid, so she will inevitably forever be in my life through my son. Um, but I've always had a few issues with her because she was... She always thought, like, her sons could do no wrong. She's got two sons. She could think they could do no wrong. So any time I've lent to her for support, I've had shocking responses. So uh, there's three situations I want to speak about. So the first one is I was um, just found out I'm pregnant. So I was about two and a half months pregnant, three months pregnant. Um, and Dan had gone to Zaget, um to a festival. Now, he had the book tickets booked beforehand, but that's not the point here. So he went and he was doing just like a lot of drugs and I was just left in London just pregnant in shock and just feeling alone so I asked him to sort of come back early um, and he didn't want to because he was having too much fun um, and um, he was just taking so many drugs so I wrote a really long email to his mum just sort of saying that I was worried about his drug intake I was pregnant with obviously she knew I was pregnant so I was saying you know I'm just worried and I, I, I just need some support from her to make sure that when he comes back she'll sit him down and be like listen like you're gonna have a kid now you can't just keep going out and doing what you're doing so she wrote this really long email and I sent it to her shit you not she replied the next day and her email back said I really wish you'd slept on this email before you sent it to me. Disregarded the fact that I told her drug, her son was taking so many drugs, it was worrying me. None of it, none of it. Second worst thing, I can't really weigh out which one's worse, but um, my brother passed away on the 6th of January this year and she came to stay with us in April, so three months after. Um, and me and Dan were having sort of just in a bad place, having a couple of arguments. Um, and she decided to come up and have a go at me during a very dark period of my life. Um, and she was having a go at me and she was just saying this behaviour is, you know, it's unacceptable. You can't, it can't go on like this. And I was like, I was like, do you mind? I was like, I'm going through a really hard time right now. And she dead straight looked me in the face and went yeah we can't lean on that it's been three months not three years and even if it was three years who the fuck are you anyway last one it wasn't to me it was to my parents and i could not believe that she'd done this so this is the same trip my parents invite her around for dinner because every time she comes to london my parents are i can be crazy at times or i can be angry and i can be 
whatever but they are gentle souls like my parents are the gentlest souls i know so we're at this dinner and she's just being really weird and just really distant and my mum has to bring it up herself she goes oh yeah it's been a really hard year for us dan's mum turns around and goes yeah it's been a really hard year for everyone yeah 